Hello everyone, today we will be discussing about residual ridge resorption. So firstly what is residual ridge resorption? It is a chronic progressive change in the bone structure which results in severe impairment in the fit and function of the processes. So it is a pathological or physiological change. It is a pathological or physiological change which produces severe alteration in complete denture treatment. Etiology causes of residual ridge resorption. Residual ridge resorption is a multifactorial biochemical disease that results from a combination of anatomical, metabolic and mechanical determinants. We will be discussing about these three in detail. Starting with anatomical factors. Here the quality and quantity of the bone determines the rate of resorption. Quality and quantity of the bone. So we should try to evaluate the present status of residual ridge to determine what has gone on before. For example, if the ridge has existed as high and well rounded for several years, it is more likely to continue to do so. Metabolic factors. Residual ridge resorption varies directly with certain systemic and localized bone resorptive factors and inversely with certain bone formation factors. Like endotoxins from, from plague of dentures, prostaglandins which are potent agonists that stimulate osteoclast act formation, Osteoclast activating factors, human gingival bone resorption stimulating factors or ill-fitting dentures as they lead to increase or decrease in vascularity which changes oxygen tension. Heparin which is a cofactor in bone resorption but some individuals have the correct amount of circulating estrogen, calcium and phosphorus and so on to compensate for poor local factors. Hence, they show slow rate of resorption. Mechanical factors. Patterns of bone resorption. Resorption occurs more rapidly in first six months after extraction of the teeth and at a slower pace till 12 months. It occurs rapidly in first 6 months and then in a, at a slower pace till 12 months. So the rate of resorption progresses after 65 years of age. Also in general residual ridge resorption is more rapid in females than in males. It can be precipitated by certain systemic diseases or ill-fitting dentures as discussed. Rate of reaction, resorption. During the first year after extraction, the amount of residual ridge resorption is 2 to 3 mm in maxilla and 4 to 5 mm in mandible. So residual ridge resorption during the first year of extraction is more in case of mandible than that of the maxilla. Later, the annual rate of resorption of height in mandible is 0.1 to 0.2 mm, which is four times less in case of the edentulous maxilla. So, the ma uh, maxilla resorption occurs towards the center that is inwards and upwards. Resorption uh, occurs inwards and upwards whereas in case of mandible resorption occurs outwards that is away from the center. Supposingly this is the center resorption occurs away from the center. So the resorption happens outwards. Orders of residual resorption that is adverse classification 
there are six orders pre extraction post extraction high well rounded ridge knife edge ridge low well rounded and depressed i'll be discussing about all this with a diagram clinical features of residual ridge resorption the depth and width of the sulcus is reduced the depth and the width of the sulcus is reduced due to resorption of the ridge till the level of the muzzle attachments which decreases vertical dimension at occlusion and reduces the lower facial height and increases in relative prognathism because mandible because of the mandible resorption mandible is resorbed outwards hence it increases in relative prognathism also the resorption is towards the center in ma maxilla as discussed and away from the center in mandible we get to see sharp spiny and uneven ridge ridges ridge crest due to difference in rate of the resorption from one place to another now the changes which are seen in maxilla resorption of the bone in maxilla usually permits the denture to move up and backwards in relation to its original position as said however the occlusion also may force the maxillary denture forwards so occlusion forces the maxillary denture forwards back to its original position changes that are seen in mandible mandible inclines outwards as i said it inclines outwards and becomes progressively wider this will lead to decrease in interarch space the mandibular movement is rotatory along a line approximately passing through the condyles so the mandible movement is rotatory around a line which is approximately passing through the condyles this progressive change in mandible and maxilla makes the patient appear prognathic the mandible's rotation may produce these following consequences loss of centric occlusion in denture change in the structure that support the upper denture movement of the lower denture in backward direction this may lead to traumatic changes in supporting structures of the mandible movement of the lower denture in backward direction leads to traumatic changes in supporting structures of the mandible movement of the lower jaw anteriorly with an ensuring prognathic appearance so these are these were the consequences now coming to the patho pathogenesis immediately after extraction that means this is pre extraction and this is post extraction they are talking about this immediately following extraction that is order 2 any sharp edges remaining are rounded off by external osteoclastic resorption leaving a high well rounded ridge as seen in this diagram so these sharp edges are rounded which results in this high well rounded ridge now the resorption continues from the labial and lingual aspect as the crest of the ridge becomes increasingly narrow ultimately knife edge ridge is the result as you see in this case resorption occurs from the labial surface and the lingual surface which results in the knife edge ridge now the process continues that means the resorption resorption of the ridge continues hence the knife edge becomes shorter and eventually disappears leaving a well rounded or flat ridge as you see in this case eventually this too resorbs leaving a depressed ridge as you see in this case coming to the treatment and prevention 
Firstly, how to prevent residual ridge resorption? Pre by preservation of remaining roots for use in overdenture helps to preserve the bone in that area. Also, denture with bilateral balanced occlusion prevents bone loss. Denture with bilateral balanced occlusion. And then two implants in the mandible, two in the mandible and four in the maxilla also helps in minimizing bone loss. Coming to the treatment. Pre-prosthetic surgery can be done to increase the height of the ridge which is called ridge augmentation and depth of the sulcus called the vestibuloplasty. Thank you.